our verse for today is in 1 Corinthians 10, verses 23 and 24. Everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible, but not everything is constructive. Nobody should seek his own good, but the good of others. Friends, we have freedom, especially freedom to eat anything. The Apostle Paul was talking about the freedom to eat any food that you want. Yes, you are free. We are living in a free world, friends. You can eat anything that you want. But the thing here is that, would this be beneficial to you? If you go and eat in a buffet every day, and eating all, all kinds of food that you want, will it be beneficial to you? If you want and enjoy eating junk foods, would it be beneficial to you? See again, friends, before you do things, think about the benefit you, that, that you get out of it. Like if it's not beneficial, why should you indulge yourself in it? If certain food, friends, is not good for you, why eat those food? Meantime, you will suffer. Why don't you just concentrate, friends, on the things that you can eat that are beneficial to you? We are told, friends, that yes, everything is permissible, that, but that everything is constructive. It's not helpful. It can even destroy you. A lot of people, friends, get sick because of their abundance. They got so much, so much money, they can buy all kinds of food and consume the things, even the things that are not good for the health. But in the end, was it helpful? No. It brought sickness. So why get sick, friends, by insisting on your freedom to eat anything? Why don't you be conscious about the food that you take? Because we are told, friends, that what you eat is what you will become. You will eat junk food, friends. One day you will become a junk. You will find yourself in a junkyard. Why? Because of the junk food that you're eating. So, and then we are told, friends, that don't work just for yourself, but for the benefit of others. Because the Apostle Paul was talking, friends, that there are those that don't eat all. Don't look down on them. Well, they do it for a reason but don't mock them for not eating what you're eating. See, you get to consider the, the, the good also. What is beneficial to them that you do? To encourage them because you are a brother that is loving them. Amen. Don't look down on a brother that does not eat what you eat. So the Apostle Paul was saying, what are you doing? In everything that we do, friends, check the benefit that we get out of what we do. We are living in a free world. You can do anything except, of course, of violating the law of the land and the law of God. But other than that, friends, you can do anything that you want. But is it beneficial, though? If it's not, then do it. Don't do it. Do only the things that can glorify God. Do only the things that is beneficial to you personally and beneficial to others. Then you are walking in the ways of the Lord. Then you are a good example to others. But otherwise, friends, if you insist on doing things, yes, you are free. But it won't benefit you. In fact, it's, it's offensive to others. Then you are causing others to sin. So that's what the message of the Apostle Paul. Don't cause others to sin because of the exercise of your freedom. Yes, friends, let us be cautious in the exercise of our freedom. In whatever things that we do, friends, Let's do it all for the glory of God, that his name may be lifted up high and be glorified because indeed we are walking in his ways. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance and give you his peace. His shalom. God bless. See you next time. Bye.